In March 2017, I met and had a chat with Cyril Regis. At that point, all I really knew about him was that he was a professional footballer, admired by many for his talents on the pitch. On for Regis. Oh, what a goal! What I didn't know was that this would be one of his final interviews. And it was only after his passing 10 months later that I really found out just how big of an impact he had made on the lives of so many for reasons other than just football. Two years on, and I'm ready to share what we spoke about. Five to 10,000 people shouting nigger, nigger, you know, throwing bananas on the pitch. I had a bullet through the post. And get the thoughts of some of those that he touches on in the interview. I was smashing my car up or intimidating my wife or my family or my kids. And when it would kick off, she would just have to grab my brother and run. The one regret, I actually lined a deal for him to come to Manchester United. I'll also be looking at the journey of a career that paved the way for some of the most famous names we see today and the legacy that Cyril Regis has left behind. We never saw any statues honouring black sports people or people in general. You know, so this is a sort of groundbreaking um, achievement. Mm -hmm.